Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris where we are just finishing up our war on the true Zanami horde down here. We're wiping them out of existence. They have a few armies left on this planet and then we're going to invade that and then we just need to take Nizaturam and we're good. In fact, I think we may actually be able to go grab this right now. Yeah, we can. We're, we're through the FTL inhibitor. Excellent. So we're going to send off this fleet to go one-shot that system. It's a little bit of overkill, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. And... We're done. <laughs> Excellent. So how are we doing here? I think it's when we reach 100% that it enforces the it enforces the status quo. Okay, we're down to just four armies left in this location. How many resources are Oh wow, look at that. 39 minerals in that system. We have an unemployed pop. Who's that? This guy? This guy. We can build him a basic science lab, and we can also fill out the rest of this with exterminator science units. There we go. And let's go ahead and pop up over here and just check on our other planet real quick that we colonized. Yep. We're going to go ahead and build ourselves some exterminator science units here as well. Excellent. Okay. We may as well plop this... Um, Plop this system into the into our sector. And Devasa as soon as we actually capture it. Construction complete. Which will be relatively soon, actually. And then we'll just pop back down here and check which of our construction ships finished up. It was the ESS compiler 4. So we're gonna go ahead and grab Ezar now. There we go. Also, AWS 8Q. How close are you to being ready to start this construction? Kinda close, is the answer. But not super close. I mean, pretty close. And then there's also the human harmonious kingdom here. They are authoritarian pacifist materialists with just the one system. That's kind of amusing. <laughs> <laughs> so, the question is, who do we want to go after next over in this area? And the answer might be the regime of Dervanus or the Zanami successors if if they wrap up this war ever. <laughs> we'll see if they do. Okay, we have one army left here. We're going to be attacking once they get down to about a quarter health. That's when we'll start our attack, because it can continue ticking while we're actually on the way over there. So right about now would be good. Construction complete. There we go. Ground objective secured. GG. The Star Nation, formerly known as the True Zanami Horde, has been destroyed by its enemies. How this will affect the political climate of the galaxy remains to be seen. Excellent. The deep space construction site for the planned gateway in the AWS 8Q system is now in place. Once we have the necessary resources, construction of the actual gateway may commence at any time. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that started. It's going to cost us 8,000 energy credits and 12,000 minerals. That's fine. No concerns there. And then let's go ahead and pull this guy all the way back up here. There we go. We are going to want to build another gateway up there eventually. And we're going to want to stick this into our sector so that we don't have too many controlled systems. There we go. So the Zanami sector is currently at about half of its final size. It will eventually encompass all of this as well. And then that'll just be the 
Zanami sector. Of course, this sector over here desperately needs expansion into the Valen Cooperative. They are in a federation with the authority of Mishri, so we would be fighting a two-front war. Also, uh, we could think about activating this gateway once we have the energy credits. We do not currently, though. So we'll just go ahead and build mining stations there. And then let's go ahead and send... Oh wow, they actually didn't damage us in the slightest. Legion 02, we'll put you back at the at the uh, Gamma Draconis Starbase. And then Legion 01, you can go right on back to the Chi Draconis Starbase. There you go. We should also consider upgrading our fleets since our fleet cap went up and our naval cap is actually up over 420 so we should be fine there um, according to the spreadsheet we need one titan that's good seven battleships 13 cruisers 25 destroyers and down to 36 corvettes which we apparently can't do Well, that's exciting. <laughs> I guess we'll just do this for now. There we go. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and start those constructing, since we have plenty of resources. Okay, this Devasa station here, do we want to maintain this? The answer is yes. We want to maintain that, we want to upgrade that. We also want to downgrade the Castra station. We don't actually need that anymore. And we want to get the Kuma station upgrading. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we also want the Izar station here to be upgrading. So that'll bring us up, I think, to our to, to 34 out of 35. Which would mean we would be able to proceed with our planned construction of a gateway in Tuayama. Which would be great. So I guess we'll go ahead and do that. Just continue ticking forward a little bit. Now, we may want to consider having a gateway down here somewhere as well. But as of right now, maybe not. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a pretty long trip from here down to here, but at the same time, it's potential problems that that rise up over here. Construction complete. So I think we're going to not do that just yet, at least. And instead, we're just going to keep expanding up this way. Mining and research stations there. We can't actually build an outpost here. We will be able to once we uh, have a month tick, which will be right about now-ish, here in another week. It's actually right about now. Science there division we go. Report success. Okay, armored torpedoes have been unlocked. That was mostly just a reroll. I guess we could grab devastator torpedoes. Out of curiosity, are these actually an upgrade for? the missiles in our cruiser. We currently have antimatter missiles. Uh, Marauder missiles look a whole lot better. 20 per day, 11.9 per day. 100% shield penetration, 25% hull damage. Same thing there. Marauder missiles are just better. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Excellent. That will improve our output substantially. We'll go ahead and upgrade these, and upgrade these. There we go. I think both of these are going to Chi Draco or to Gamma Draconis. We're gonna want them, one of them down in Chi Draconis, but that's fine. It'll be, it'll be just fine. Okay, so how are we coming on our next tradition? Hundred and six months. Oof. Science 05 has completed its surface construction queue. 
That's no good. We don't want that. We want you to then just go ahead and build a whole bunch of things. Um, do we want to build some spare parts depots? I feel like we maybe do. We can replace those later. So we'll go ahead and do that, just to build faster. And then basic science labs in every other location here, including suppressing all of these various resources. Because we want that sweet, sweet science. More science labs. More science labs. There we go. Okay, so what do we got going on here then? I think we can just go ahead and do pretty much the same thing here. This is only one energy credit, so we're going to go ahead and build a science lab on top of that. Yep, everything here pretty much. This will all be just fine. Now this is going to be a bit of an energy complete. hog, to be sure. Yep, suppressing that mineral will be just fine. Thanks for the warning, though. There we go. Three minerals here, but we do not have complete. any mineral problems <laughs> at all. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and then just build ourselves some exterminator complete. science units. There we go. We can also go ahead and start upgrading this gateway in the Izar system. There we go. So that should keep all that busy for a while. ESS Compiler 4. Can I guess head back and get the Etrif... Etrvip? Et et that is too many consonants in a row to be allowed. I'm sorry. I can't handle that. Okay, the Izar Station can upgrade to a Starhold. The Kuma Station can upgrade to a Starhold as well. Bever here, we may as well grab ourselves all the resource reprocessors and then a resource silo and then a... We can't do an ex external acquisitions area quite yet. We also may not have to drop this starbase, which would be exciting. Exciting indeed. Apparently we missed a mineral down here. Go ahead and grab that. How did we miss that? <laughs> I don't even. Okay, so this down here is pretty good. I mean, there is Castra and, and Tethel here that'll need eventually... We'll have to push in. I mean, we'll just have to keep in mind that this isn't perfectly defended down here. And, I mean, at this point in the game, we should assume that most empires have the ability to breach hyperspace lanes. And so that, and, and so we should not assume that we're perfectly defended at any time. We have the tech, and we have for centuries. It's a good chance that everyone has the tech. So how strong are these stations? 39k? Okay. Well, that's not too, too bad. We're pushing almost 100k per fleet. I feel like once we get to 100k per fleet, then we think about declaring war on this fallen empire. Get them out of here. Out of the way. Out of sight, out of mind. I mean, they don't have a problem with us, per se. Maybe we should go for the Zaplo Watchers first. Construction complete. Zanami successor Khanate made peace with the Democratic Corinth planets. Really? Now that's interesting. Do we want to exploit that, is the question. 
and they entered into a defensive pact. Okay. <laughs> so that's a thing. So these guys are... Hmm. With that defensive pact, I mean, we could still fight them very, very easily. We have a building that is missing something that is required for it to function. It just doesn't have a grown pop to function. What do you mean, missing the following resources? Food. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hey, they just joined this Concord. Really? Uh-huh. Well, that's interesting. The ESS Compiler 4 needs something to do, but we are out of influence, so I think we're just going to disband them for now. Okay, so this Federation is, um, I mean, it's not really scary, it's just annoying. I don't think we need to worry about it too much yet. I mean, ultimately, I don't think we need to worry about it at all. We're just so far ahead. Okay. Democratic Corinth planets Ships vassalized the successor Connate. So we can't actually do anything over here, I guess. I mean, we could go up into the regime of Durvanus. Which might not be the worst idea. Human Harmonious Kingdom joined the Condign Concord. I have a feeling this is a response to us actually getting a little aggressive. But that's fine. We're not concerned about any of these guys at all. You're still upgrading. Let's see, we want you to head home to your Chi Draconis base. There you go. Go on and chill there. Assembler 5. Go ahead and build these stations. And then grab Ionides. Excellent. We are almost done grabbing this area. And we've laid claim to almost fully half of the galaxy at this point. Construction complete. So, yeah, even if these guys do actually get along and join these federations, it's fine. Not concerned. Okay, this Devasa station. That's here. Okay, we want you to be a citadel. And then we want this Bever station here. Go ahead and build yourself an external acquisitions area. And then we're fine. You don't need anything else. So how is this sector doing? I mean, it doesn't have food, but it doesn't need food. Food is overrated. Otherwise, the sector is doing great. It's currently planning on doing quite a few things, and it's going to construct a colony ship, which is fantastic. We're going to go ahead and toss them a few minerals to help them out with that. There we go. That should be plenty of minerals for them to do what they need. Now, the, the Valen sector has a huge mineral stockpile. They're just really bad at energy credits. We'll toss them a couple, of, a couple thousand energy credits just to keep them going. We do need to think about cracking into the Valen Cooperative. However, if we do that at this point, we'd be fighting the authority of Mishri and the Democratic Corinth Planets and the Zanami successor Khanate in addition to the Valen Cooperative. Now, I'm not scared of that. It's just a little annoying. And I would need a decent plan for how to, how to do it. Probably would want to tie up... I mean... We're, we're back to the whole, I wish I had a third fleet thing. Because if so, then one fleet could hold this area. One fleet could attack the authority of Mishri. And one fleet could hold this area. And then we'd be fine. And then we'd be able to just push in. As it is, 
we have to rely on our stations holding this, which they probably can. Not too, too concerned about that. Yeah. I mean, we could do it. Gateway reactivated. Power has been restored to the derelict gateway that was found in the Ezar system. It has been connected to the rest of the gateway network and is now fully operational. There's also this gateway here in Pithom that would let us get in basically into their backline and just start completely wrecking them. Which is funny. There's no doubt about that. Construction complete. Hello, Stolaris. There we go. <laughs> For a second there, it didn't want to continue. ESS Assembler 3 is good to go, so you can go ahead and do that. I do want this 10 physics research. So build an outpost there when you're done. Excellent. How are we coming on our tradition? 77 more months. Yeesh. That's going to take a while. I mean, we are getting close to the end of our traditions, so it makes sense. We also have a, a few stations here. I'm going to go ahead and minimize these for now. Just for the present moment. Science 05, good to go. All of these are completely queued up. So the only thing that we would need to do is upgrade. Although, now that I'm looking at this, we need a science unit here and here. And we need a science lab here. We can go ahead and upgrade that administrative array. Everything good here? Looks good. Okay. Excellent. Some of our planets suffer from unrest, but not for long. We will be killing them all. Excellent. So the Zanami Horde uh, wasn't very successful, was it? I mean, it was doing pretty well, and then we kind of kicked its teeth in. Let's go ahead and pop our star bases back open and take a quick look here. Citadel, Star Fortress, Star Fortress. Okay. Construction complete. Of the ESS Assembler 5. Where are you? You are here. Go ahead and grab those research stations. And then this feels like a complete waste, but we're going to grab the Yamek Singularity, even though there's apparently literally nothing in there. Feels bad, man. And then I guess he's going to come up here and start filling in this way, so that we can at least get some intel on the Zaplo Watchers, who as of yet haven't done anything. They're equivalent to us currently. Their naval cap is inferior, their fleet power is equivalent, their tech is still overwhelming to ours. These guys are also equivalent. Equivalent, equivalent, overwhelming. So yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like that 100k benchmark is a pretty good one for wiping out these fallen empires. We don't really care about this fallen empire because they're robots and we don't have borders with them. So for now, it's fine. Excellent. So, we do have this extra starbase here. I do feel like after you're done with this, come on back here. We should start upgrading this starport because we're going to put a gateway here. It's going to be kind of close to this vortex connecting to Omicron Persei. But more importantly, it'll service this nebula if we fight the Fallen Empire. So that way we can get here quickly, we can get here quickly, and then we can make our way around there and come in like that. That's the idea. We're going to go up to 35 out of 35 effective star bases. That'll be fine. We're going to need one more up here, but by the time we have all these systems filled in, we'll probably have one more star base availability. So that's great. Seems good to me. So that way, even if they get into our territories via, like, breaching the hyperspace lanes or whatever, we can 
get around a whole lot faster than they can because they're going to have to destroy our systems if they want to use our rapid transit method. So that'll be just, just fine. However, this seems like a good place to put a cut in, so I'm going to go ahead and do that next episode. We will be finishing up this little area for sure, and hopefully making good progress on this up here and maybe even going after one of these fallen empires. If we're going to go after one, it's probably going to be the, the Watchers first. Just because they have good territory over here that we want, they're also a lot more compact and not split into two arms the way that the Chroniclers are. But anyway, we will figure that out when we get there. Maybe even next time. <laughs>